Hello everybody, it's Mrs. Socks again. This time I'm going to introduce some books that are suitable for infants with the age between 0 to 2. So let's take a look. We will start with this kind of cloth book first. Okay, you can see there's some sound and there's no word and the baby could actually chew on it and they would play with it and they will see lots of images in this kind of picture books. So to start with, you can make them interested in playing such kind of books instead of giving them like a real book. So they have lots of different style. They came in different kinds of cloths and different shapes and different colors. It's like those chewing toys and with some sounds that could um, attract the interest of the infant or the baby. And inside you can see it's really simple each page one animal with its name so at the very beginning you don't need to expect to see a lot of words just some nice pretty colorful images that would attract the infants the babies and after the cloth book you can see books that has different texture baby touch and feel so at the very very young age they're very sensitive to different kind of texture they get to know the world by actually touching things so for such kind of books, they would be able to explore different texture and that would be very helpful for their development. You can see with only a few words and um, just the animals in different language as well. This playbook is already torn because they play like so often. So they have different sounds they could make for these kind of books and different texture again. So they could play with this book, they could just explore and touch and feel it so this is another kind of book that is very suitable for babies aged 0 to 2 because that is going to stimulate their senses you can hear all these so the second group of books that is suitable is Eric Carl's book which is really famous already and I don't think I need to talk too much about them so you could mix and match and count the numbers with the kids but it's a bit too early to really have them learn it and the book of shape so they could match again just to illustrate and another kind of book that is suitable for babies is you know these hard paper it's like board books it's not really hard paper it's uh, because they still need better management of their fine motor skills they can't really flip the page properly yet so these kind of Board books are very suitable for them. It's more durable, and um, you see, feels like the other ones is with big pictures and just one or two words on each page. So this level would be considered suitable for age zero to two. These books in front of you are the lift the flat books. So zero to two years old, they really love to flip over and see what's inside. So that's why you could see these books are very very key. You know. They're almost like all torn and very broken because the two boys really love flipping them. And um, this one is about babies, where's baby's belly button. It basically talks about where the body parts are and they just lift the flap to see what's underneath. And for boys, with my boys, they love this. They love to flip, lift the flap of these vehicles and transportation. And with similar theories, it's not just lifting, lifting the flap. You know, for little dogs with small mechanism, you could move the story. You can see how they already, you know, almost break the book. So you can see when you tell them the story, you know, of course, in an, in a fun and interactive way, and they could be able to pull this little areas of the book. And then it makes reading more fun and interesting for them so they could interact it's not so so boring for them it's not just pictures and words which they might not be able to interact at such a young age another kinds of books that is suitable for zero to two is these books with pretty shapes that shapes like the real object like this bulldozer and uh, you don't need to see a lot of words inside there but with pretty pictures and there's like a basic storyline and the kids would love it you can see it's just two work, two lines and then some animals doing the construction work and this London bus it could actually move properly but um, 
Big Brother Socks love moving it too much that it went off already. So with a very basic storyline but pretty illustration, really nice pictures, colourful, attractive and with details in there. So this kind of books with different special shapes also really attract the attention of these babies. And this one, I couldn't find the English version, but it's just served the same purpose. So it is like a globe. It talks about different places, different countries and their basic information. So they could um, flip it open and you could go into different parts of the world and to close it to show you how it looks like. It's just, you know, like this, but with the smart design. So these kind of um, beautiful shaped books is also very suitable for them. And next, all babies love animals. And um, these books in front of you have the same theme of animals and they have different kinds of designs which I can show you and I will tell you my personal experience of how the boys play with it. So this Good Night Baby is my two boys favourite bedtime storybooks. So basically it's this is the barn house and all the baby animals are inside. So when they flip to different pages, they would then be able I will be flipping the book like this and asking them to find the baby animals for a parent like this one. It rhymes and then the the kids could try and see, you know, which is the baby and then they will put it in. So it's just simple different little things that they will be able to sort out but they love the repetition of it and they love playing with it. So this is one of the books that they could play a little bit with animal themes that is suitable for them. Another one is um, it's a slide and play book, a play and slide book. It's just up and down and um, the babies love moving things in the book, so this is what attracts them. Even though this one is not so attractive, both boys love playing with it. So with animal themes and they could interact is the key. And here you have the Usbon Peep Inside Animal Animal Home. And it's more complicated here, but because of the lifting the flat function, so they still love to look at this book when they are really, really young. So these things are going to attract them. And this one is a special one. It's about rainforest rhyme. So you could find very, very popular rhymes in this. And then they can move along the finger. This book is suitable for even older ones, but they try to learn tracing and learn to see words. So this is just rain or rain roses. Into with spider, so you could sing along with this book, and they can look at these different animals. So each page, a nursery rhyme that is. So it's not just animals, but it's a fun little book to read with them. So babies between zero and two, another thing that would stimulate them is sound and music, of course. So after the books with texture, so here comes some books that I have chosen for my boys with some nice sound. This one is the Quiet Time Music Book with classical tunes. So it's very calming, they really love it. I didn't really tell them very, very detailed about this story when they were zero to two, but every time in that page, they would try to find this button where they know after they've pressed it, they would hear some nice music. So they have this animal feature, this button here again, in different parts of the page, and you would have to search for it here it's this one's here and uh, you'll be able to hear some classical tunes so instead of always like you need to switch on the TV you need to turn on the radio you need to play them some music with your phone you could actually buy a book like this and they will love they love actually to go to this book find this book and listen to the music by themselves and this one is the nursery rhymes keyboard book so it's of course, zero to two, you wouldn't expect them to be playing you the tune. It's like this, uh, the roll, roll, roll your boat. Everybody kind of know this song. They have simplified it, the version for it. You just need to look at the color and follow the sequence. You'll be able to play the tunes for your little one. So zero to two is very attractive. You could appeal to the sense of hearing. And this is really good for developmental stage for zero to two. So I really recommend some books in your bookshelf 
with some music there. So we have this box book set that is also suitable for very very young kids because they are with board books it's very hard and difficult to let them destroy it so they could flip through the page and each board book within this set is just a couple pages so it's quick that they would finish reading the book and they would be able to put it back into this little box there they would actually love opening and closing things and taking them out and putting them back so it's also appeals to zero to two babies so for zero to two years old they would start to acquire lots of dictions in their daily life they would try to accumulate the word bank to know more you know what the names of the objects are to be able to name it and call it so here is this book that is a bilingual of chinese and english and they put into different situations in daily life like how you wear the clothes and what kind of clothes are those and numbers lunchtime and food so uh, vehicles for the boys uh, not that the girls can't like it but more with my boys I could tell and about traveling about the countryside so they would be able to look at the picture see how the object looks like and then learn the words even though as a language teacher I wouldn't really recommend just by learning you know vocab by vocab just a word by itself in an isolated way which I will try and explain why in my upcoming videos but this kind of book is still very very helpful for zero to two to be able to name objects to understand this and this is a big book big board book by Disney so they would um, connect to their different cartoon characters different kinds of characters as well and then they would teach different concepts so here is the color and shapes and then you could flip with opposite with food and then um, transportation and date and animals things like that so I'm not gonna flip through the whole thing for you but it basically it stands on its own and you could flip it with your baby and it's pretty friendly and my boys love it they keep flipping it especially the page with transportation and I cannot leave out pop-up books so this is for numbers and there is the other one about under the sea so zero to two they really like lifting the flap and when they see pop up like this they will be fascinated and they really want to know you know why they could move and all that so you know the butterflies could move and they pop out that really interests them so you can see these bees flying out and so it's the same for the other one about sea creatures and the hermit crab it moves when you flat lift the page and there's an octopus hiding okay. and speaking of books with different shapes and this one I have to tell you about it this is how it looks before I open it so let me show you how it looks after I open it so this is how the school bus looks like when it is set up so Big Brother Sauce and Little Brother Sauce wouldn't let me close it very soon. So once it's set up, they would try and be the driver, sit there, and in order to maximize the time the school bus can stay open, they would try and ask me to tell the whole story of inside. So you can actually see these kind of books will attract their attention a lot. So for books like this of irregular shape, and that could play with it for a long time my boys love it so it would be good if you could find the interest of your kids find something they like they will really love that book and the money would be well spent so that's all for this episode about books recommended for aged zero to two so according to their developmental stage i have actually chosen different kinds of books for them with different themes and different cognitive levels so i hope that you don't really need to get exactly these books for your babies but you could have the principle of um, what book to choose that could appeal to the senses like the sense of touch sense of hearing and next level of difficulty for the babies so so this is how you know my zero to two collection looks like so do feel free to share with me how yours look like see you next video